Next year at five to a live look at our beautiful beaches. It's one of the many reasons Florida is amazing and people visit here, but new projections about high tide flooding out tonight may have people who live on the coast just a little bit nervous. Yeah, that's right. In fact, NOAA just released its high tide forecast for the next year and their data shows that high tide flooding will continue to increase. Our Wendy Lane breaks down that report and finds out what some are doing to prepare for high tide events. And at that time, the water came into the house and almost reached on this side up to this level. George Dowd lives in the Shore Acres area of St. Pete, where his home was completely flooded during Tropical Storm Ada in 2020. Because the water came in also from this side, that side, and that side. So we have flooding coming from the front and the back. Now he's installing two sump pumps in his yard to pump out the water fast, and he may soon need them. Noah predicts the Tampa Bay area will see one to four days of high tide flooding between now and next spring, which is more than twice what it was 20 years ago. Scientists say sea level rise is to blame, which they predict will rise by another foot in the next 20 years. And they say by 2050, high tide flooding events could rise between 70 to 100 days a year. We get the flood from this side. Because George lives in a low lying area, high tide flooding in his neighborhood is already frequent. That's why he's working hard to be prepared. But he says it's still all worth it. Living in paradise is a, is a gift. It's a precious gift. Not too many people could enjoy it. And there's a price. In St. Pete, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.